Here we go then, the final round of 2014 and the Aprilia Super Teens line up on the grid. The champion, Rory Skinner, not here today and we should just bid him a congratulations because uh, he won't be racing in this championship next year, of course, the champion, but he has just made his way into the Red Bull Rookies, having been selected from 109 entries. So, very well done to Rory. Georgina Poulton, who's second in the championship, also not here. So, an excellent opportunity for those that are third, fourth, fifth in the championship and newcomers, of course, to get themselves some trophies here today. A bit of a damp morning, however, here at Mallory Park for the closer. It's Cameron Fraser on pole position, though. Number 66 at best qualifying for him ahead of Shane Faber, Dan Drayton and Tristan Finocchiaro. Superb for these guys to be starting from the front row. Away we go then into turn one and TJ Tom's got himself off to a good start. Number 24 there, Shane Faber also. Oh, and that's pole man, Cameron Fraser. And oh, his first pole position here on TV day and that is not the way you want it to end. Cameron, such a shame for him. He's actually in with an outside chance and still picking up some big prizes in the Nitro Newcomers for this season. His race over at Turn 1. Welcome back to Mallory Park for the final day of the Championship Thunder Sport GB. The pretty super teams, the last time we'll see them for 2014. Cameron Fraser, well he'll be looking to make it further than Turn 1. Uh, that's where he crashed out from pole position in race one. Dan Drayton there, he was on the podium in race one. Tristan Finocchiaro also on the front row. Drier now though than we had earlier on. Shane Faber, incidentally, who crashed that massive high side. Uh, we understand that he may have suffered a broken collarbone. So our best wishes are sent to Shane, the JDF and Prettier Super Team rider. We hope to see him back out racing again next year. Away from the line we go then for the teeny bops. And it is going to be Dan Drayton possibly with the advantage, or is it TJ Toms? Yes, Toms with the yellow wheels. Number seven gets the whole shot into turn one at Gerrard's. As we just see there, Matt Bauer, number 78, a newcomer uh, with the orange bib on at the somewhere near the back there. Obviously, complete newcomer to racing at the moment. He will make a lot of progress. Ed Best there, however, number 44, looking to challenge TJ, Chom, uh, TJ Toms immediately. I'll put my teeth back in. Ed Best, who is guaranteed third place overall in the Aprilia Super Team Championship and uh, is on to some great stuff in the future, I'm sure. There's Cameron Tenzing Jenkins, number 73. He was a newcomer last year. This is his second full season of racing. And we see again there number 52, Oliver O'Flaherty ahead of 78, Matt Bauer, newcomer to racing. It's always great to see how these newcomers progress. Most of the guys at the front of this race were, when they first started, uh, absolute newcomers and probably at the back themselves. You get the odd exception, such as Rory Skinner, who came in and was quick off the mark. But Rory's not here today and neither is Georgina Polden. You've just joined us. It is uh, Skinner that is the champion of 2014. He'll be racing in the Red Bull Rookie Championship next year, flying the flag for Great Britain. The young Scotsman is off on uh, various trips around the world to follow the MotoGP paddock, so good luck to Rory. There is Ed Best, though, and he takes the lead ahead of TJ Toms here in this pretty super team race. Dan Drake is in third place. His championship, which has been run by Ian and Myra Newton now for so many years, so successful. Of course, famous for introducing us to the likes of Casey Stoner, Chaz Davies, Cal Crutchlow, the list goes on. When you see British stars, and not always British, of course, Stoner, of course, hailing from Australia, going on to greatness, they've probably started here. And Thundersport GB has been a part of it for the last six seasons. We crowned Fraser Rogers champion back in 08. He's gone on to Racing World Super Sport. Wayne Ryan in 09 was the champion. He's in the Spanish Championship at the moment. Chrissy Rouse, of course, uh, won this championship in 2010. He then went on to win the Triumph Triple Challenge and now uh, he's racing at European Superstock level. Joe Francis in 2011, a pretty super team champion. He's winning British Championship races. Lewis Rollo, you're seeing at the moment, in 450 races and he's winning them he was the 2012 champion then last year's champion Zach Corduroy again going the 450 route so you win this championship you're usually onto a winner 
and uh, not just the winners either normally the guys in second place oh my word well uh, unless uh, there's there must be a problem for daniel booth either that or the sat nav's packed in because he just uh, took a right turn over at the s's there um and he looked like he's going pretty quick as well through there so danny booth has uh, gone out of this race he's already confirmed as nitro newcomer champion for 2014 but that was very odd indeed whether or not he's noticed that his bike's giving up the ghost. Of course, it is a two-stroke. Oh, and there's a rider that is giving up the ghost. That bike is uh, has run out of juice. Probably not literally. Of course, these... Uh oh, and well, that's Cameron Fraser again. What a disastrous day. His first ever pole position on TV, on the cameras. A crash in turn one and a mechanical failure is not what you want on your CV. Boo! The champion from Faber, Wosley. Cameron Fraser, fourth place. Then it's TJ Toms in fifth. And Jack Reed, a solid sixth overall.